What is up, fools? We're back. We're playing the video games. Alright, so, we're gonna go find Tung Si Hung. I wonder who it could be. Oh, but we gotta go talk to the bartender first. Oh! No damage. What can I get you? Mm, I want a Tong on ice. I'm looking for Tong. Everyone wants to talk to Tong. Check the VIP lounge upstairs. You have a very odd face, Mr. Man. As you might have noticed, that woman said that Tong's uh, Tong's base of operations was down in the basement. But this guy, he looks he looks rather suspicious, doesn't he? You work here? Yeah. You could say that. I need to see your boss. Really? Well, I'm sorry, Bailo. Mr. Tong Si Hong sees no one today. Look, I didn't come halfway around the world to take no for an answer. Do us both a favor and tell me where he is. Or what? You get mad and tear down a few walls with those enhancements of yours? This place isn't named the Hive for nothing. It's got plenty of worker bees come out of the paneling to stop you. What is it you think? Mr. Tong do for you anyway. I'm looking for someone. A cybersecurity specialist named Ari Van Bruggen. You know him? Never heard of him. what he do? Steal your girl? Owe your money? He had a job go bad, and now he's on the run from the people who hired him. But you knew that already. Because a man like Mr. Tong doesn't hire idiots. And this is the first place people like Van Bruggen come when they need... help. So stop wasting my time, and take me to Tong. You've got it backward, boy. You wasting my time. Van Bruggen is minor league player. Tong knows who he is. He just don't care. He's got bigger things to worry about. Alright, so we have a conversation section here. Usually... Pretty much pinpoint will get you through this entire conversation correctly, so... You expect me to fall for that? Small timers don't attract this much attention. They don't have bell tower soldiers staking out their apartments. Van Bruggen's pissed off somebody big. And there's no way Tong's going to ignore that kind of development in his town. You're smarter than you look. Yeah. Tong is keeping a close eye on things. Like you said, he's no fool. Van Bruggen is the hottest thing in town right now. But nobody in Hengsha is going to let an outsider in on the action, especially not Aguayo. You don't know the rules of the game around here. Alright. Give me a break. I've been on this island long enough to know that Van Bruggen can't leave without Tong's help. He has to be hiding in Lower Hengsha somewhere, and Tong can tell me where. You're pretty quick on the uptake, but you're still behind in the game. We hide Van Bruggen somewhere safe, but Tong's not going to tell you where. Speaking of safety, you still haven't told me who you are or who you work for. You tell me you want Van Bruggen, but when I ask why you deflected the question, that's a lot of reason not to trust you. You say anything to get rid of me, won't you? There's no way Tong can hold on to Van Bruggen for long. Not with the kind of resources his enemies are throwing into the search. He'll be dead within a week, and Tong with him. Unless somebody, namely me, takes the heat off, and soon. I wonder if you would say that if you knew the kind of heat the Dragon Queen gives off. But I won't refuse a gift horse when it's staring me in my mouth. Tong's office is downstairs. I'll radio the others to let you through. So yeah, pretty easy. Simple silver tongue. You can get it through other methods, but uh, three pinpoints usually all you need. It's it's, a, it's probably the easiest conversation you can have in the game. <laughs> it's really easy to move yeah, yeah, maneuver. Try words. Maneuver your way through. So let's go ahead and move our way into here. And down the stairs we go. Into Tong Se Hong's office. 
You're a teleporter. What? You see this? And to screw it up in the fort, I'm just flushing my money down the pot. Your tongue. Hey, you only work that out now. Guess you're not as sharp as you think. How about you tell me who you work for? Then I decide what I tell you about Van Bruggen. Does the name Seraf Industries ring any bells? Seraf Industries? Isn't that that American company stole all the headlines a while back? You still in business? Why wouldn't we be? Check the news. Biotech corporations seem to be failing a lot these days, especially the ones who are making enhancements. Van Bruggen's in the Alice Garden pots. Capsule 301. Place is a rat hole, but it's useful sometimes. Make sure you leave him in the same shape you find him. And if I don't? Your call. But those implants of yours might look even more special on somebody else. Duly noted. Alright, so we got that done easily. Hey, he's got a book. Look at that. Hey, he's got a book, and we're a scholar. Hey, look, monkeys. Hey, look. I guess that's Tong. Hey, look. Slender Man. He has no face. Alright, so we're getting out of here. Yeah. Malik, you're okay. right. Tong is helping Van Bruggen. He stashed him in the Alice Garden pods. Thought as much. A hacker who knows his way around corporate firewalls would make a valuable asset for the triads. I'm at the pods myself, Jensen. Want me to run interference? No. Don't put yourself at risk. I'm heading there now. Alright, so we gotta head over to the Alice Garden pods where we hey. will... Leaving already, tough guy. Cause you might want to go over to the bar and order yourself a drink before you do. Maybe Bobby will have something for you. Bobby? The bartender. The real bartender, that is. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not gonna nice. say that. That's racist. I just might check that out. You do that. I always forget that there's a side mission back here, but we gotta talk to this dude again. You got a favorite poison? Um, I uh, Tong. Looks like Tong's running a nice operation here. You for hire? Because a suspicious man might not appreciate you asking. A suspicious man might also wonder what kind of job gets handed off to strangers. But all right, I'll bite. What are you offering? I got a problem I need solving. Trouble is, none of my usual guys are available. And this problem? It involves a woman. Someone who owes Tong Operation here some money. Getting it out of her is proving to be difficult. It's a dirty job, but it pays well. You interested? Would Rambo put his morals on the line? We must ask ourselves this. Yeah, of course. Tell me more. I'm listening. That's what I like to hear. This woman, Jaya, she's a broker. Highly competitive field in Heng Shao. But without the right skills, her business wasn't doing so well. So we helped her out. Gave her a nice social enhancement upgrade chip so she could understand her clients' needs. Now, it's time to pay us what's due. But she says she won't. So basically, you want me to be your collector? Yes, but it's not as simple as that. The girl's gone into hiding and thinks we won't find her. But she also took her phone and computer along to keep her business alive. Not very smart. Assuming you've got the equipment to track those. We don't exactly. But we know someone who does. And that's where you come in. Bao Tower set up a surveillance network around town. A series of relay antennas. I need you to hack them. Three relays should be enough for us to access the database and triangulate Jaya's position. Then I go get your money. Exactly. The first relay is on the rooftop of a four-story building in the Yu Zhao district. I assume you've got an info link and wayfinder package in those fancy orgs of yours? I'll upload the coordinates and then contact you once you've hacked in. Alright, so... That's a debt collector mission. Of course Rambo would do this. This is for the greater good. Alright. So, I already said that. Alright, so... Hopefully the manager won't give us crap for having not paid to enter the establishment. Oh. Okay, no, he doesn't care. Alright, so. Oh my god, I've said that four times now. Okay, so. That was intentional. We're gonna head back to the Hong Hua Hotel. We're gonna sell some of the weapons we picked up because we don't need them, and buy more ammo because we do need that. Hello. You look here. I know I will. Okay, revolvers useless. Shotgun useless. Sell. Machine pistol useless. Sell. Ammo. Bye bye bye. Oh wait, no, 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 no. That was mine. 
No. Uh, that's not ammo. This is ammo. Okay, nope. What? 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 Oh no. I just. Thank you. Come again. I just shortened my ammo supplies even further. Oh dear. Okay, well, we're gonna have to make these shots count. Oh dear. Alright. I, I tear through ammo of. Uh, yeah, words. Ammo faster than I thought I would. We're gonna go uh, handle this side mission real quick before we go and deal with the stuff on that end by the Alice Garden pods. Well. No, no, no. No, we do this first. Because we'll get another side mission from Malik, and I believe that's over in the Guagong district. So, we'll just come back after we finish this mission up. If this has a hacking requirement that I do not have, and I can't remember if it does because I do this mission very infrequently, um, we just won't do it. Uh, the reward is okay. It's, it's credits. I don't really need those. I have a lot, and I'm probably just going to buy Praxis anyway, so... Good job, Lao Wei. I see you found the first relay. Now hack it and turn off its security protocols. How do you have my comms network information? You know, normal people ask these sort of questions. Okay, get that, get that, get that, get that. And come on. Access granted. Cool. Done. One down, two to go, my friend. I don't really know why we're disabling quote unquote the relays. I thought we needed to use them, but whatever. People are dumb. Alright, the next relay hub is literally right there. And we can just reach up and get it. Oh, Jensen's tall. He just stretched up to fully face this thing. Jensen's very tall. Oh, this is going faster than I thought it would. Okay. Oh, no big deal, no big deal. Access granted. Okay. Inactive. Good. Second relay is down. Only one remaining. Alright, I do not fully remember how to get over to that one. But we'll just shortcut our way around. Eventually we'll find the route. Alright. Buddies on rooftops. Where is the net? Oh, oh, well that's fortunate, it's literally right over here. Kinda curious who put all these roof support things around, but whatever. Not my business to ask. Alright. So, we're gonna go here, 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 simultaneously. Oh wow, this is going fast. Alright, go to this, and nuke it! Oh what, it's not done, what? Oh! Oh wow, that was close. <laughs> oh. Excellent work. I'm starting the triangulation now. Should have a location very soon. And there it is. I've got it. Jaya is hiding in an apartment building called the Hengsha Court Gardens in the Yuzhou district. Oh, well, wasn't I'm that sending fortunate. you her coordinates. Get over there and get us the money she owes. Wasn't well, that fortunate? I was just over there. Okay, down, down, and down. So we gotta go around. Oh, side mission's over here. I'm a war on. <laughs> All right, go around, go around, go around, go around, go around, go around, go around. Bypass the bell tower agency because they are annoying and they don't even notice me because they're stupid. <laughs> I didn't even try to be stealthy. All people just dumb. Alright, and we're in. Gotta take up the elevator. I believe there's an option to just talk to her. I don't remember what it is. I think she has some viable reason. Can't remember. Not gonna bother with it. I think I'm just gonna kill her. Or whatever the option is. Would Rambo kill a woman? Maybe if she's a soldier. Kinda gotta question the morality of this whole situation. Ah, whatever. Hello. Who are you? Another one of Tong's thugs? Yes. Well, get out! I told him I won't pay another credit! Diplomatic. Look, I know this is not an ideal situation, and I'm not proud that I gotta do this. But Tong's crew wants the money you owe them. Oh, you poor boy. Having trouble dealing with the dirty job you have to do? And 
I should feel sorry for you? Reality check, taxman. You're here to steal money from me. Stealing? They got you the augmentation you needed, and they expect you to pay for it. Not the most charitable thing to do, but I would hardly call it stealing. Are you really that gullible? Tongue doesn't run a buy now, pay later operation. It's more like a buy now, pay forever. Listen, I just started as a broker. Most other brokers come from rich families. They paid for augments that give them an incredible edge in the business. There's no way I could afford anything like that through legal channels. So you cut a deal with a crime syndicate? I didn't study this hard to end up with nothing. Once I made enough money, I offered to pay for the AUG. But no, what they want is part of my monthly profits. They say they're entitled to it since it's their upgraded enhancement chip that helped me make that money. Uh, technically they're right. It's a nice sob story, lady, but it doesn't change a thing. In the end, I can't leave here without that money. Then you'll have to take it because I am not going to give it to you. Okay, we can do that. Not gonna kill you though, because that'd be rude. You're a civilian. Smack! See? Wait, I can steal her memory chip? Huh. Eh. Uh, should I do this? I almost feel kind of bad about that. Nah, whatever. Guilt's faded her own problem. Hey, look, now she doesn't have to make the payments. I think my job here is done. I think I did that well. You know what? Screw morality. I did that right. That That's what any other normal law-abiding... I relieved her of her problems and her money. So, you know, it's a win-win. Now she doesn't have to pay for the augment, and she doesn't have the augment. So, you know, a bittersweet ending, but it works. I was thinking I could wall jump up here, but then I realized I'm not Ratchet from Ratchet and Clank, so that's probably not going to work. Alright, let's walk around the idiot bell tower guards, because they're stupid and don't realize when someone walks up behind them that they probably got through their line. Nope. No notice. You people are about as receptive as a doorpost. That is to say, not at all. I held that silence for a little bit long, didn't I? Alright. The exit is right up here. I still don't know if it's Qui-Gon or Dagon District. Qui-Gon Jin. But we are almost done. Whew. I forgot a Hengsha is a lot of running around. It's a lot, a lot of run You know what? I'll do it right now. There we go. And that'll help for combat, too, because then I can double take down people. So if anyone nay says that it's not good for combat, screw you. Look, take down multiple opponents. Wait, that did that increase my... Oh my god, that doesn't increase my sprint speed, does it? Oh my god, it doesn't. No. Well, I wanted the reflex booster anyway. <laughs> I think I just made a massive error. Okay, well, it's fine. You know what? I'll get another Praxis soon. Heck, when I get over to the Lim Planet, I'm going to be buying Praxis, so whatever. I'm allowed in. Screw you. I can go in if I want. Guess I gotta go in around the back, though. Even though I've now been treated as a legitimate customer. Whatever. You all know me. You all know my life story. You all know what I've been through. You all know about my legitimacy. Oh my god, are you serious? Oh my god, are you serious? Come on. Come on. There we go. As it turns out, ventilation jumping is a little bit harder than it looks. Alright, we're in. Is this the women's restroom? It is. Huh, Jensen's a perv. Well, that sucks, doesn't it? I thought this was your fish tank. I'm a moron. Hello. You got a favorite poison? Uh, payment. That's my favorite. Payment with a dash of Kahlua. Hey. Splash. About that job. You found Jaya yet? You need to get back the money she owes us. Dude, I wouldn't come back if I didn't have that. Here's Jaya's augment. 
I guess this means your investment has been returned. What are you talking about? Where's the money she owed us? There is no money. This was not our deal. Maybe not. But think of it this way. Jaya was becoming a problem. I helped you get rid of that problem. This wasn't helpful at all, Kuai Lo. You've caused me more trouble than anything else. You can forget about our deal. Well, I got the money too. I guess I'm just going to keep that. Oh well. Have fun. <laughs> and in the end, I screw over everyone. Rambo Jensen away! Screwing over everyone in Hengsha. First China, then the world! Any spirits? Nope. No spirits. No spirits at all. Alright, well we got Praxis. So, let's put this to good use. Yay! Faster sprinting! Does not feel all that faster. Joy of joys. Alright, how did we get over there? Map. Alright. Ah. Uh, okay, head down this street, take a right, and go down the sideway. Alright. I don't feel very fast. Is there any way I can further upgrade that? Alright. Jump. I'm actually do it with tact. Ooh, she pretty. See what I'm saying about the posters being more erotic than the freaking strip club hotel thing? It's true. Hello. Alice Garden Pods. Going to get these things done. Oh, I should probably not do the Arnold Schwarzenegger Chet Wagner voice. Alright, head through the door. Sorry if I'm not as funny as usual. It's late and I'm tired. The con is still wearing on me. Oh, I cracked my neck. Hello. Jensen, I... I was on my way out. What are you doing here, Malik? I told you, I got this one. I know. It, I didn't do anything. Trust me. Van Bruggen's all yours. Mm. Hang on a second. Something's wrong. What is it? Why are you here? It's nothing. I mean, can't a girl have secrets? Wow, that's not the least bit suspicious. Of course, but I can tell something's bothering you. And I'm concerned. What's going on? I just... I just had to look into something. For a friend. She... She deserved better. I'm listening. Fine, since you're so damn curious. Years ago, I used to live here, remember? My friend, my best friend, Evelyn. She was like a sister to me. Made living here fun. But then, there was an accident. She... She's dead. I'm sorry, Malik. Wait, Jensen, let me finish. I thought I was okay with it, but... I know. I know she didn't hey, just... Hey, look, is on. She was killed. Murdered. Her damn scumbag boyfriend did it. I know he did. I knew he was trouble right from the start, but she just wouldn't listen to me. Malik, easy. If your friend was murdered, the police would have suspected something. They would have investigated. That's just it. There was no investigation. They said she fell down a flight of stairs like it was some kind of freak accident. But her wounds, the way she died, they don't add up. It's right here in the damn blood spatter analysis. Blood spatter? You've seen the police report? Yes. A friend left a copy of it in a pod here for me to pick up. Listen, I know it sounds crazy, but I think... I think there's been a cover-up. I just have to prove it. If I could get my hands on the autopsy report, the one that never surfaced, I know I'd get the truth. Except... Why do I suspect I'm about to get dragged into something? Look, Jensen, I'm sorry. I know Van Bruggen is the priority here. And I told you it was my business and I could take care of it. It's just... The more I think about it, the more I realize I'm in over my head. I'm just a pilot. I'm not a damn cop. But I need to know the truth. <sighs> I should just post... Not not even post. I should just pin a sign to the front of my jacket that says, Hello, willing to do illegal activities for money and or experience and or praxis and or weapon modifications. Because everyone just offers me illegal activities to do for them. Okay, I'll help. What do you need me to do? My lead. He works for Lim. He's a systems technician who apparently has access to their entire database. He's willing to hand over a copy of Evelyn's autopsy report. But... So you want me to meet him and get the report? Is that it? Yes, but he'll only respond to a certain phrase. Death and life have their determined appointments. To which he'll reply, 
Riches and honors depend upon heaven. Christ, Malik, this is starting to sound like something out of a bad spy movie. I know. He's just trying to protect himself. I didn't pick the damn quote. So just play along and remember the line, okay? You'll find him inside the lobby of the Lower Hengshaw Lim Clinic. Does this guy have a name? None that I know of. But he apparently goes by the handle Anonymous X. Ball. I know, I know. Anonymous X. Okay. Anything else? Yeah, before I forget, everything concerning Evelyn's incident, newspaper articles, the police report, limb details, it's all inside pod 009 here in the hotel. You should read over everything if you can. Pod 9. Got it. I need to go. Contact me with any updates and thank you. I really appreciate this, Jensen. Yeah, doesn't everyone who asks me to do illegal things for them? I just get all the praise for doing illegal stuff for everyone. But somehow I haven't gotten in trouble yet, so maybe I do have some kind of impunity. I don't know. Either way. Are those shrimp? No, they are chopped. Why are... Well, that's orderly. Anyway, I think that's enough Jensening for one day. See you all in the next episode. Right, comment, favorite, subscribe. This looks like a warehouse. Bye.